Okay, so here we are, the beginning of chapter one. Okay, Imwin's caught up with us and off to join us, which is perfectly fine because she's a really good character. Fortunately, we got her some stuff earlier when we were in the um, encounter keep, so we'll give her that. Just give her a bit of armor because she's pretty weak. Give her some extra arrows as well. Uh, she can have that wand and the potions and the oil of speed. She's geared up. Now we need to head to the friendly arm in. So let's just follow the path. Hello there. Okay. This guy here, um, Cole said, he's not particularly important. Basically he'll just tell you what way to go if you need directions, way to the friendly arm in and stuff. But um I know perfectly well where I'm going, so that's okay. Just keep on following the path. And up here we're gonna meet two more characters who are potential companions, like Imwin, but I'm not particularly keen on them. Um, they're evil characters. Their alignment's evil. Uh, my alignment's good, so we're not going to get along. So I can just ask for a bit of help, and I'm going to get a potion off of them. But then when they ask to join us, I'll just say no. You can get them if you want. They're pretty good characters if you've got an evil party and they're useful for cannon fodder or whatever, just send them out on the front line if they die it doesn't matter but I mean no, I don't particularly like them so I'm just going to leave those guys be over here on this tree, there we are you can actually loot it and get a diamond out of it yeah, which is pretty neat not a problem. just a little secret there and then that's worth 500 bits of gold oh hello, a wolf's attacking okay so in when we can send to the back and this guy, our character, going to close combat. Right, she can start shooting. It's a good bit of teamwork. I just press pause there. Sorry, hit the space bar and you pause it. Which is as soon as someone attacks you, just hit pause for safety. Okay, and down the potion and carry on. Right, wolf's down. Pretty basic uh, enemy, but they do deal a. Uh, Pretty hefty bite. Okay, if you look on the map, um, this bit here where we just walked up, this bit's where we were last night where Grime was murdered. There we are, you can see stuff. So we're going to walk over there, and see what he was carrying, any clues to what's going on. Okay, we've got a um, gold dagger, which I'm not interested in, and a scroll, which should hold some clues. Two ogres that he killed. Carrying morning stars and minor valuables. Look, we've collected that so we can head on back now. That letter, if you're interested, is um, from a character named E. Um, it just explains a little bit towards what's going on. Um, he sort of hints at the danger that might be coming and suggests that Gorion leaves Candlekeep. E, you may know who E is, uh, quite a famous character in the. Forgotten Realms um, background, which is where this is set. But uh, if you don't, he's actually Elminster, the famous mage. So that's pretty much this section complete. We've done that one really quick. There's not much to do here, apart from move on now to the next area. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Hope this was helpful. See you in a bit.